what makes a great team, best structure and pitfalls to avoid, etc. So just real quick, I mean, I don't want to get too far down the rabbit hole on this because I want to answer some other questions and talk about the Chris Smith interview, but just in general, like Greg, what would you recommend? Like what's the first baby steps into even starting a team for someone like that that's coming as a solo agent? We need to identify and figure out how you, what kind of team structure do you want? Do you want to have a uh, you with a bunch of assistants and maybe showing agents that you know, all these showing agents do is they sh they're door monkeys, basically. You pay them a certain fee and they go open the doors, then they come back to you, your assistants write the contracts, you negotiate the contracts. Um, there's a guy in Southern California that I, he, I walk in, he's in his $3,000 suit. He's on his knees in his office, probably 15 to 20 contracts around him. The desk is there, but it just is covered in contracts. His office doesn't have any ceiling. So he's yelling at his other four assistants to get him things about the different contracts. So you can have that. I mean, he, he, that guy's, that guy's like wow. slow down, like vacation mode is most people's like hundred percent go time mode. <laughs> um, it's crazy. Um, so you can have that kind of a structure or you can come on and you have segre segregated buyer's agents and seller's agents, which I truly am not a fan of because if I'm a buyer's agent on someone's team and then grandma calls for them to list their house and I tell them they can't do it, well, how fast do you think they're going to leave? Mm, they are, whoop, there go, yep, the door just closed. They just left. Um, so you can do that. Um, you, there's different models for different marketplaces. Uh, I would truly just look at how, what you're really, really good at and then focus in on that. I am not good at managing people at all. I mean, I, if you're not going to do what you're supposed to do, I can't help you. You're already a lost disaster. See, Eileen, I didn't even cuss on that one. She, I, I just got back that from Eileen. 